Special thanks to John and Joan Maxwell for making this feature possible. To learn more on how you can support feature videos on Feeding Our World, check the links in the video description. The young man on the ocean beach was picking up starfish and throwing them into the ocean. Someone asked him, there are so many starfish on this beach, how can you make a difference? The young man picks up a starfish, throws it into the ocean and says, I made a difference to that one. Welcome, how are you? Nice to have you. Get on into the house. Rock and roll. Welcome to Cinnamon Ridge, my name is John Maxwell. Ok, donc bienvenue à Cinnamon Ridge, euh, donc son nom c'est John Maxwell. And this is my wife Joan. Et voilà Joan, c'est le film. Back in 1997, I was nominated to be a candidate representing Iowa in the National Outstanding Farmers Contest. That launched me into the tour business because John Deere came to me and said, will you do tours for us? Since that time, I have grown to doing tours through the years, and Joan and I last year saw 6,000 people. I'm fifth generation Jersey dairy farmer in Scott County, Iowa. I grew up on a farm. We milked with buckets, then with high stalls, and then later on we had a freestall barn. In 2008, my daughter and I see robotic milkers for the first time at World Dairy Expo. We decided maybe to pursue that a little bit further, and as time went along, we did more research, and we fell in love with them. Your way of life changes, and it really frees you up. It also saves in the labor end of it. It individualizes cows. We can milk them up to six times a day. 3.3 is our average and our goal is to be number one in the nation for milk. So this helps us, we've come a long way. The cows come in all on their own. What brings them in is really tasty feed. It's high in molasses. As the cow comes in, the robot is reading her collar and identifies the cow. Then we use artificial intelligence to also map the udder of the cow. So the more times the cow comes in, the better the robots get at finding her. The first thing that happens is that we do a double scrub. We scrub the teats, remove all the manure and other debris that's from the teats, and that also will stimulate milk letdown. Then the milkers come out by the use of a laser. The teat cups find the teat, and on it goes. It's all done on the reward system, and the cow soon learns that every time she comes in, she gets really tasty feed. Along with the robot, we now have a lot of data, and the data is used to make decisions here on the farm. We also make cheese here on the farm. My brother went to the University of Wisconsin and graduated with a degree in cheese making, and we've kind of settled in on different kinds of cheddar. We market the cheese around the Quad Cities, so our cheese is localized, but it also is a very fun part of being able to share the food that we grow with other folks in the region. So I have an adage that all of us farmers are together. Three out of three people eat every day. Whether you eat non-GMO, GMO, organic, non-organic, whatever, all of us are in the same boat. Our job is to feed the world. Many of our foreign tours are farmers and they're coming here to learn how do we farm in the United States. If we do a tour from a group that may not be as advanced, they learn how we do crop rotation. How do we use manure to fertilize our land and what types of marketing opportunities that we have. Many that are what we call domestic tours where they're English speakers and they may have grown up on a farm or their grandparents were farmers. And what they take away is how much advancement in agriculture that we have. We tell a lot of stories that illustrate the way things were done in the 50s and 60s that may or may not have been good for the land and soil nutrients in the water and how we've changed it to today where we are all about water quality, soil health, and the nutrients that we retain in the soil. One of the things that I learned early on in my education from the folks at John Deere was the tours 
need to be educational. If it is not that, people don't attend near as much. So our goal is that they go away smarter than when they came. Whether that be more knowledge about food or more knowledge about the world that surrounds them. We've been doing children's tours for close to 30 years. And what is fun to see with these kids tours that are coming through is now we are seeing children bringing their children to the farm because they had such wonderful memories when they came. We try to show the kids, first of all, fun. And when they're having fun, they pick up the education. The parents pick up a lot of information and they're asking many questions. In addition to us teaching the children, we're also teaching the adults. We had a robotic barn tour and we had three couples and the three women were very excited to be here and two of the husbands were happily following behind but one of the husbands was giving me body language telling me that he did not want to be here. So we go upstairs where you can see a bird's eye view of the whole barn and that man that was giving me the language telling me he didn't want to be there turned to me and said well they're not tortured and that right there probably was one of the best things that we have had to happen where we changed the minds of a person by just showing them the truth of what happens here at Cinnamon Ridge and most dairy farms. Just like the story of the young man on the ocean beach, it's the same thing here. You make a difference one person at a time and most of the time they go away informed. So we're very proud of our children and our grandchildren and we are excited about what the future holds for all of them and American agriculture and it's really a wonderful thing to be out on the farm and enjoying every single day of our lives. How many places can you go and your whole family is working together as a common goal to make something as a family? I just wish other families could have the same kind of privilege as we experience here at Cinnamon Ridge. We're very, very thankful.